So today we're going to talk about KN and WOL and MBS and all that stuff and what the hell does it mean? Well, let's talk some science. Roll the intro. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Bill Nye the Science Wrong intro. Okay, so our climbing gear all has numbers and KN next to it. What the heck does that all mean? Well, it's kilonewtons. What's a newton? Well, it's a force. Not that kind of force. Here, let me grab this Grigri. This Grigri is around 200 grams, and a newton is about 100 grams. So this is about two newtons of force pushing down on my hand. I hope that makes it a little bit more tangible for you. Now, one kilonewton is 1,000 newtons around 100 kilograms or 225 pounds for us Americans. That's like 500 degrees. So why not just say kilos or pounds? Why use KN? Well, the short answer is smart people like like that. <laughs> also, they hate America. <laughs> There's a difference between weight and mass, so it works better in their calculations. But I'm American, so I'll try to break it down a little bit more for us. I'm 125 pounds soaking wet, but once I start falling maybe three feet, I would be at 1.6 kilonewtons or 359 pounds of force. If I fell 10 feet, I'd be at 5.4 kilonewtons or 1,200 pounds of force. And if I was to fall half the length of a 70 meter rope, I would be, I'd be a 114 foot fall. I'd be at 4,300 pounds. Yeah, I'd be at 4,300 pounds and traveling 55 miles per hour. So what's this about? Why aren't we constantly dying from the force and do climbers carry calculators with them all the time? Well, I, I guess we kind of do because uh, remember when your teacher told you you have to memorize your math because you won't always have a calculator with you? <laughs> Take that, Mrs. Fisher. <laughs> so the secret is our rope is dynamic. It stretches kind of like a bungee cord and that slows our fall and makes the force a lot less impactful. And I'm not gonna get into fall factors but as long as the fall factor is one or below, we're usually fine. A lead climbing fall is between two and five kilonewtons, which is around 500 to 1,000 pounds. The human body isn't really ever gonna get hurt until you hit somewhere around eight kilonewtons, which is 1,800 pounds of force. Anything under that, and you're usually just gonna walk away like nothing happened. As you can see in this clip, they use a Dynema sling, which is at, I think, rated for 22 kilonewtons or 5,000 pounds and it breaks the sling because it has no stretch in it. So now that I've thoroughly confused you with all that, let me grab this steel carabiner. This steel carabiner has a little MBS 40KN. The MBS stands for minimum breaking strength. And that's the same with all these nuts. Here, let me grab this nut. This nut says 10KN, which is 10 kilonewtons until you break this, which is 2,200 pounds. And this 40 kilonewtons would be 8,900 pounds until this breaks well, the minimum amount that they've tested that would break it. So for any common leader fall, this would be extremely bomber. You're never gonna break this. Actually, the only time this would fail would be because you placed it in poor rock quality or you place it like a dingbat and you didn't place it well and then just falls out. This carabiner is also one I use for work because it meets OSHA's standard, it goes above OSHA's standard of a 5,000 pound limit. Um, I guess I'll segue into working low limits, which is what WLL is, working low limit, which is usually a safety ratio of five to one. So you never really load this more than 1,700 pounds. Out of the 8,900 pounds it can take, you stay under that at 1,700 pounds and you only use it for that. So that's working low limit. Well, if you liked all the sciencey stuff, too bad, I'm not doing any more because it is confusing. No, I'm just kidding. If you like it, I'll get into fall factors and stuff. Just leave a like, a comment below. I don't know if it helps to ask for it, so maybe. So maybe subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. You can check out my Instagram over here if you're new. And I, I usually climb out of these, so I'll see you guys later. Woo! Ah, oh, geez.